In this video, we'll look at whether sodium chlorate, that's NaClO3, is ionic or covalent. Short answer is that the entire compound, it's an ionic compound. But within the compound, we have this chlorate ion. And the bonds between the chlorine atom and the oxygen, those bonds will be covalent. When we look at the periodic table, we can see sodium right here. That's a metal. We have chlorine and oxygen. Here's chlorine and here's oxygen. Those are nonmetals. So we have a metal and the nonmetals. We have a metal bonded to nonmetals. That's going to be an ionic compound. And because it's ionic, we need to think about the charges on each of the ions. So sodium right here, this is in group 1. So it'll have a 1 plus ionic charge. Just write a plus there. The chlorate ion, this whole thing, good one to remember, this whole ion here, it's a polyatomic ion, it'll have a charge of 1 minus. Put a minus up there. So you can see the positive sodium ion and the negative chlorate ion, they're opposites and they're attracted. And those two ions then form the ionic bond. Let's talk about the chlorate ion for just a moment. We said chlorine, that's a nonmetal, and then oxygen, that's also a nonmetal. When we have nonmetals bonded to nonmetals, that gives us a covalent bond. This is also called a molecular bond. So overall, this is an ionic compound because we have the positive sodium ion and the negative chloride ion attracted to each other. But within that, the chloride ion, because it's made up of nonmetals, that is covalently bonded. This is Dr. B answering the question whether sodium chlorate, NaClO3, is ionic or covalent. Thanks for watching.